In New York's North Country, the effects of the storm are also certainly going to be felt by about this time tomorrow. Our North Country Bureau reporter Michael Miller joins us live from Plattsburgh to show us how they're getting ready. Michael. Mike, some say this storm could be unlike any we've seen in years, but I talked with New York State Police and the Department of Transportation, and both said they're preparing like they would for any storm. The Department of Transportation says its thorough training covers what crews need to be ready for. Everybody goes through the same snow and ice training. We do snow and ice university. We do fall training. Our snow and ice prep uh, continues on the way that it has. Um, our training is constantly evolving, but you know it's continual. Region 7 of the DOT covers more than 8,600 square miles, the largest region in the state. That's a lot of ground to cover in a storm like this. We are redeploying staff inside our region and inside the five counties to get them where they're going to need to be um, based on what projections are for storm totals. Um, so at this point in time, we're not expecting to receive men or material from outside the region. New York State Police is also prepared as of 5 p.m. Each trooper will be assigned each certain area, and they have to call in to the supervisors to inform them of their like how the roads are, the road um, conditions, the weather conditions, and everything. Each supervisor then keeps track of the updated road conditions in a spreadsheet. So when people call dispatch to see how road conditions in their area are, they always have an updated report. I spoke with one woman out getting ready and asked if she was worried about the storm. I'm not real worried, but I don't want to have a repeat of the ice storm of 98, which was not fun. No water, no heat, and but it was only for a week. But for other people, it was a lot worse. Nancy Olson said she's staying close to home this weekend as she doesn't want to get stuck on the roads because of the potential ice. Another man I spoke with said he bought an extra bag of ice for his driveway, excuse me, that's salt, and he also bought some gas in case he has to fire up the generator to stay warm. Live in Plattsburgh, Michael Miller, ABC 22 News.